No, I've come out of it because my my period wasn't coming. Um, like my period was on my I literally got my period a few days ago and it was day 47. So like these were the things that I knew that my body hasn't been like I've been okay because of things like my periods. Have you ever lost your period after you've gone through some intense weight loss or you've been dieting or you've just had a struggle with your eating patterns? Let's talk about why that happens. When you drastically cut calories or you over-exercise, your body goes into a preservation mode. Your brain literally says, now is not a good time to make a baby. It suppresses the release of GNRH, which is the hormone that kicks off your menstrual cycle. No GNRH means no FSH or LH, which means no ovulation and therefore no period. This is called hypothalamic amenorrhea and it's more common than you might think, especially in people who have very low body fat or they have high stress or they have an eating disorder. And according to this review, restoring regular periods does require eating enough, reducing the intensity of workouts, and sometimes it does just mean gaining weight. Your body needs to feel safe in order to ovulate. So if your period has gone missing, you need to ask yourself, am I fueling enough? Am I overtraining? It can be about you needing to regain lost weight or actually just restoring a more regular balanced diet. The change to your periods is not usually permanent, but it can take a while to get your periods to restart, even after regaining your weight. So ideally, you just don't want this to be something that happens to you regularly where your period goes missing for periods of time. So if this sounds like you, you should speak to your GP or a specialist because you don't have to fix it alone. Your periods are an important sign of your overall health, so let's treat them that way. Did this happen to you? Let me know what your experience was.